morning, everyone. Thanks for attending today's meeting. As I called you today, we will have our meeting on strategy planning for our current issues in post Malaysia. And from the analysis that you've done, uh, the issues are. For the issue of operational, I would suggest that we install CTV in the warehouse to monitor ha workers handling the parcel. The recorded video on CCTV can be used as evidence for the purpose of disciplinary action if there has been a breach of company policy or procedure or any other misconduct of passes. The strategy here is functional strategy. Any other suggestion that can be used? Um, I think our human capital is sufficient enough uh, to be at the warehouse as an authorised person in order to manage the employees' actions when they're dealing with the parcel. The other suggestion is that we need to communicate well our rules and regulations to the workers so that they understand and easy to follow. Well done. The ideas could be used for our betterment. So any other strategy on the matter? No. no. Okay. If no, we will move to another issue. For this matter, I would like to suggest that we should use more energy efficiency, transportation like do any investment in electric vehicle in order to uh, reduce our vehicle emissions. Wow, electric vehicles, huh? You know that the technology is not here yet and it will incur huge costs of R&D. It's okay, Miss Maya. We need to view on the long-term impact which will lead to better health and gross national happiness of the people. And Post Malaysia can be a company that has achieved ISO 40001, which is through the use of electric vehicles in order to have an effective environmental management. As we know, the ISO 40001 is the standard that we want as a role model in the environmental sustainability to the other organisations in Malaysia. We will move to the another matter to discuss on competition. For this issue, I think we go to corporate strategy which we merge uh, with other company or we acquire them. Um, so we can uh, expand our business and decrease the business cost to produce an individual unit uh, due to economic of scale. Other than that, our business can get benefit because they provide inter international delivery and logistics in other country. From this, post Malaysia can expand business in other countries. Use competition among carrier service companies. Not just that, we also can share our skills and knowledge when we merging with them, so that it will make our worker more eff efficient and effective. I agree with your suggestion. We move to financial issues. I think we need to establish certain standards on KPI where it needs to be aligned to our targeted profit. I believe uh, if, we, if we fulfill the criteria in the KPI, we can receive incentive from the government such as subsidy. I suggest us to utilize the developments of e-commerce. We should enhance the engagement with other online shopping platforms, which then we create the word B2B and B2C. We should consider to increase our partners who act as an agent on behalf of us, especially in rural areas, as we acknowledge our service are demanded by veteran people. Is there any other suggestion? No, we move to the other issues okay. related to the technology. All right. I think we should upgrade the centralized system in real time so every update made in the branch can reach the related agency. In addition, we can reduce the possibility of miscommunications as well as double key-ins or misrecorded the data. It is so important for our company need to strengthen internal control by increasing security system on custom customer's data. We also can invest in vendination for printed consignment notes as we make our customer easy without the needs of QA. I suggest that we should upgrade our mobile application like adding some feature such as a prepaid or payment or consignment notes and others. We also can like uh, establish this by giving um, identification for each of our users. It's a good idea. I think we can proceed with this idea and to achieve this level we can build a relationship with third parties like banks insurance companies and telecommunication companies and the targeted users for this application is online business owners. Okay, thanks for the today's meeting. I will bring the proposed strategy to the board meeting. We end our meeting here today. Thanks. Okay. Okay.